this is a, a great occasion and first I'd like to uh, uh, recognize our honored guests uh, who must have had some great foresight and uh, hopefully a little wisdom and maybe even a little luck to look forward and say let's start this thing and not knowing where it's going to end and I, I just I, it's just great to know that we have people out there who uh, who can look into the future and see better things for all of us and so with that gentlemen thank you for that foresight what this means to me uh, to Lake State is 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 bigger than Lake State I, I think uh, Jeff mentioned a little bit it it's it's not just a Lake State project you know with the DNR and, and Cloverland involved we obviously have partnerships which which is one of the things we kept hearing when I was down down on Mackinac Island you know you guys have to collaborate more you have to collaborate more and I really felt like saying come on up let us show you what we do uh, so they, they you know those politicians are out there saying here's what we should be doing and not even bothering to find out that we've long since been doing it. And, and for that, I really appreciate those partners who have been with us all this time. Uh, but again, this, this gets even broader than that because it means, as, as uh, Jeff mentioned, so much to our community, so much to the region. Uh, I mean, I know fishermen uh, who come to this area from hundreds of miles away just to get a chance of landing salmon. And uh, that, that really means a lot to the uh, foundation of the community as far as uh, what it brings financially, but also to what it, what it means in, in the uh, ability to bring people to Sault Ste. Marie just to know that we're here. And uh, for me as a fisherman who's yet to catch an Atlantic salmon, I've tried. I even had Brad Petsky come up and take me out on the river and we didn't get one. So. I'm still waiting. I'm, uh, what is that? I'm an Atlantic salmon virgin, I guess. Uh, <laughs> waiting, waiting for my first time. So I think I'll stop right there before I get in any more trouble. <laughs> and, and invite Gary to come up and speak on behalf of the DNR. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a really a pleasure to have the opportunity to represent the Department of Natural Resources here. And it's really a pretty remarkable event. I mean, how often do you, you see something that has gone on for this long for 25 years in a continuous fashion and provided this much benefit to so many people, whether they be students, the community, the university, and certainly our department and the citizens of our state. It's really pretty remarkable. It doesn't happen very often. And, and with respect to that, um, you know, for many years our department prior to moving Atlantic salmon production here had tried and experimented with Atlantic salmon production in our own hatchery system for about 12, 14 years prior to finding a good home for it. And frankly, LSSU has been an outstanding home. The cooperation and collaboration we've had here uh, is, is unique any place I've been in the United States. I cannot think of a more novel and unique opportunity both to rear fish in a university setting to provide students a real-time, real-life opportunity to see the entire process of a fishery, everything from the actual production of the fish to people using the fish to, to actually using them and creeling them and bringing them home. It's a very unique and unusual opportunity. In addition to that, the community has certainly had lots of opportunities and advantages here. It has, it has benefited people all the way down into Lake Huron from this particular fishery. You can hardly ask for something better than that. And we get the opportunity to see a lot of new, young, bright students, and many of them who work for us now. And so it's a really remarkable opportunity. It's a remarkable program. We're absolutely thrilled to be involved with it. We look forward to our continued opportunities with LSSU and uh, and we wish you all the very best of luck. Uh, and we look forward to seeing lots of those Atlantic salmon in our waters. So thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words today. And with that, I will invite up uh, Phil Schmidigal from Cloverland. Thank you. And it's nice to have everybody here. And I'd like to say that um, one of the cooperative principles is community involvement. And it's one that we take seriously. And Cloverland is very pleased with the acquisition of Edison Sioux Electric to continue the legacy of the vision that was started with Mr. Gregory and Dr. Gleason. And we look forward to many more years of support of the fish lab here at our power facility. Thank you. Uh, Tony, I heard you say you're with the politicians and they're always 
collaboration, collaboration. I was just with them not too long ago, and that's all they talk about is collaboration, collaboration. I said they needed to come to Sault Ste. Marie a long time ago. I said the collaboration that we have in this community, I mean, not here with LSSU and the businesses and, and all the things that are happening here, and it's been going on for years. I knew our Sulox boat tours is another collaboration between the two, two, the two boat tours. I said we have always used collaboration. We've had to use it. You know, tourism is a very important part of the Upper Peninsula of the Eastern UP, and it has always been extremely important. And uh, we've always had to work together to to make things happen. That's why it is just a, uh, it's a, a wonderful thing that the visionary, the two of you had, bringing it together well. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, somebody had to help out. You know, you, we say Dr. Gleason, you know, he was a visionary. Thank you for being that visionary. I know I grew up as a child in fisheries. My uncle was a manager of the fish hatchery in Pendles Creek. So, I mean, I grew up around the fisheries all my life. So how important it is to this region is uh, very important. And then for you, Bill Gregory, to, to say, yeah, well, we're going to do this. We're going to make this happen. That is extremely important to this community. And we, we need a lot of that collaboration going on in many areas. Um, I was, uh, have a couple examples of uh, what it has done for tourism in this area. I talked to one of our local guides. And he was just telling me the other day that he had a couple of Canadian citizens that came. And they come every year, but they're actually from Russia. And they come here for the Atlantic, Atlantic salmon fishing. It is the best, they said, in the world. So I said, you think about that and how people come here and they see these things. You know, I, it's, it's wonderful that we have that opportunity to do this and that you've allowed this to happen for us. We want to thank you. You know, it's very important. I was at the Governor's Conference on Tourism this year, and um, as we all know, conferences have vendors. And one of the bed vendors, he comes up here every year for the same reason. And he told me he was trying to get other people to come up here and everything, and I think he was telling me a fish story. Because I know fishermen really well. They don't really like to tell you where they're going fishing. So, I mean, you know, but he said he's, it's the best fishing ever. He said, you come to the St. Mary's River, it's the place to go. You know, so it's a, a very, very, very wonderful thing that you did many years ago, and you had that visionary sense to move forward on it because you've given this community a stronghold and uh, a stronghold in the fisheries. I mean, you know, we sell fishing. I sell fishing. I don't fish myself, but I sell fishing. You know, <laughs> and I said, you know, I can talk, I say I can talk turkey, but I have to say I can talk fish at the, the expos. But we let them know that we have this wonderful community that has come together and made this happen. So from the two of you, look at it as blossom into, you know, millions of dollars over the years. You've made a community grow. You've kept it going when times were tough. They weren't so easy back then. And we know that when we had, you know, things were taken away from us. So you've helped us in keeping us moving forward. And I promised uh, Roger that I wouldn't talk too long because he knows I can talk, so. You know, uh, but I, uh, with Lake Superior State University, you know, and the, uh, then the uh, Edison Sioux coming together, I said it's just enhanced our community. And uh, I just want to thank you again, and I'm so pleased that I got to be here. But I think that in closing, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to hang out my sign, gone fishing. <laughs> I guess, Roger, I get to introduce you next. Come on up. Roger, I ask all the time. I'm constantly asking Roger for something. Hey, Roger, can you do this? Roger, can you do that? And he's always so pleasurable to do it, and I think it's a wonderful thing. So, but usually Roger. a week early. <laughs> he was a week early this last time when we had Port Cities here. It was wonderful because not only did we got to see the collaboration, but we got to see a working waterfront, and we have a working waterfront that nobody else has. If you take a look at the businesses on this waterfront, we, we have it, don't we? We showed them the fisheries, we showed them the hydro plant, we went down to MCM Supply. I said, we have a working waterfront. Thank you. And, and thank you all for coming and all the speakers. It was great. Bill and Gail, um, what can you say? They've, you've heard everything that has been said. Part of the mission or vision that you guys seen is to intertwine the, the fish hatchery, the aquatic research lab, and within the community. The, um, university, the DNR and stuff, and I think we can call it a success. It's been a great run. 
you know, not only the 25 years of stock and land lakes, but you know, we've been working on this a little bit more than that. It's been in the mid, early 70s, mid 70s. We started with the Whitefish Project, worked with Chinooks, um, and worked with brown trout, some lake trout. We worked with brook trout. There's been a lot of them. Arctic grayling, yeah, how can I forget the grayling project we did in the early, early days. And through all 25 years, I've been involved with the Atlantic salmon stocking. Steve Scott back there at the Michigan DNR, you don't think I'm going to be the only old timer over here, pal. <laughs> He's also been involved with most of it. So on behalf of all of us, the community, the university, and everybody, thank you guys. Appreciate all your work, dedication, and such. And with that, we have a little plaque to give you guys for now. And it is in honor of naming the 25th year class of Atlantic Salmon to Gail Gleason and William Gregory for their exemplary vision and dedication to the Aquatic Research Lab on the St. Mary's River. So there is one for each of you. Bill? Well, the nose are And I know, I know you guys are dying, dying to say something. I can just see Gail's trying to really hold back. <laughs> well, I'll tell you how we started it. You gotta know that, Steve. If you guys would like the podium, you're welcome. If not, we can hold up a benefit. It's going to be best for you guys. Yeah, we thought the history would be the best. <laughs> well, I was glad to give birth to this place. It was, uh, a long, hard battle. Uh, long, labor lasted about six, seven months just getting the start. But it, to me, it's been my baby. And uh, I guess when I moved to the Sioux, I fell in love with the St. Mary's River because it had everything that I wanted moving water, and clear depths, and everything else. So establishing the Aquatic Research Lab was, was my goal. And when I retired, I kept on as research consultant because I couldn't afford to give up the lab. I just couldn't do it. Well, things intervened in the meantime and I had to call it quits. But uh, thank you very much for inviting me today and it does a lot right here. Thank you. He was very modest. But, you know, I was lucky to move to Sault Ste. Marie, too. And I pray to God and thank him for, for bringing me up here. Because I've met some wonderful people. And Gail was one of them. And Earl Leach was another. And between the three of us, and Gail knew everybody in Lansing because he was a graduate of Michigan State University in fisheries management. So we had the contacts. And it was just a great thing. Well, my wife's a man of tea. So I was involved with the salmon from day one at Bear Creek in 1966. And I know what it did to communities and people. It made them go crazy. Where else could you catch a 20 pound fish except in Alaska? And now we could do it right here on the river. Gail and I were together with Wind Chance, another great fisherman. One evening he heard that Canadians were catching salmon in the rapids on J plugs. I had just come from Manistee, caught a 22 pounder, and I had Miller spoons, a silver fluttery light spoon. And me and him and Chance went out here on September 9th, 1979, and we had the most beautiful, wonderful night. We got a fish on right away. It was a 22 pound fish. We floated all the way down to the hospital before we got it in the boat. The shad flies were hatching so thick it was slippery on my boat. You had to keep your mouth closed. We went up again. There were 16 gates open. Boom! We get another fish on. 17 pounder. And we went up again. Boom! We get another 17 pounder. And I left my rod hanging over the side of this other rod. So we got that one in the boat. We had three. And I figured I'm going to stay out here until the sun comes up. And it was 10.30. And we had salmon jumping all over the place. <laughs> I pulled in 
this. I said, hey, there's something on this rod. And I pulled it in. There's a five-pound rainbow. <laughs> I got a picture of those fish at his house we went afterward. <laughs> but he and Dave Bammer and Lake Superior with Ken Schuldeis. And, of course, I had support here from uh, my chairman, Bob Klein, and then Tom Nurnberger. It was just a great, great thrill to work with all these people. Who was a fishery biologist in Newbury then? John? John Schroeder. 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 Yeah, we took him fishing. Anyway, it was a great, wonderful time. Uh, I've caught Atlantics. My last one I caught out here on a fly rod, 13 and a half pounds, Roger waited. I was with John Giuliani. That's who Tony ought to go with. Fix him up with John Giuliani. And he will take you, sir, and you'll catch an Atlantic salmon. But it's been a great experience in life. And good to know Gail's here to celebrate that. So, thanks. Good luck, kids. Oh, there you go. Yeah, let me give you a hand there, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Woo! Those are good size. Nothing but beauty, Bill. <laughs> I don't want to get too close. <laughs>